We're finally starting to see some positive dramatic action from Bitcoin as it surged past 9,000 US dollars. We started to see Bitcoin recover after Mark Carney's letter. Now it seems the comments made at the G20 are starting to have a positive impact on sentiment. So let's check it out. The G20 published a statement yesterday. It said that it is committed to implementing Financial Action Task Force standards as they apply to crypto assets. Look forward to the FATF review of those standards and call on the FATF to advance global implementation. It is not likely that they will take any immediate actions, but Argentina's central bank chair said that in July, we have to offer very concrete, very specific recommendations on not what do we regulate, but what is the data we need. Out of the top 20 cryptocurrencies, Tron performed the best over the past 24 hours, gaining more than 20% as it starts the countdown to the Tron testnet. This is expected to launch on March 31st and is considered to cease its dependency on Ethereum and open doors to bigger markets. The developers and community are excited about the testnet launch, which precedes the mainnet launch planned for the end of May. More than 57% of trading volume comes from Binance. Tron is in 14th place with a market cap of well over 2 billion US dollars. Apparently, a hotel in New York is trying to use a 400 million US dollar crypto coin offering to sell ownership like a stock. This week, Kevin O'Leary, who is the chairman of ETF firm O'Shares Investments, told CNBC that there's a big deal coming in New York in the next three weeks. It's a $400 million coin issuance for a real asset you've heard of. Instead of a stock, a share, it's a coin, with a smart contract approved by the Securities Exchange Commission. You will be an owner of a third of this hotel. If it works, it will be the first of its kind. And do you think the US National Security Agency is keeping a close eye on Bitcoin users? Well, according to a report by The Intercept, classified documents from Edward Snowden reveal that they have actually been closely following crypto users since 2013 through a program with the code name Oakstar. So share with us your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching and see you later.